Okay, we own it popping. Can you tell me your name? What they call you? Chase Knight. Chase uh, Everybody calls me Chase Knight. Mm-hmm. Where you from? I grew up in Grand Rapids. How, how was it growing up uh, during that time? Was that the 80s, 90s? What was it? 2000s? That was uh, 90s to mid-2000s. Okay. Yeah, I mean, was it real integrated then? Like, was it real diverse like it is now from what I hear? Shame to be out as anything other than straight. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I meant like, like the race, the the ethnicities was like black oh, people, white people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. How, how was your childhood? Uh, what, what, did you grow up kind of suburban? Was you kind of hip in the streets? What was you doing? Uh, I grew up in residential home system, so kind of a foster care. Uh huh. Oh, so you, so you been through some things then? Okay. How was your relationship with your parents, or did you did you have a relationship with them? Uh, my parents and I were. I was removed from my parents' house when I was about four, and so I didn't really have much of a relationship with my parents after that. When did you get in your first bit of trouble? When did I first get in trouble? Yeah, like you know, maybe as a juvenile or early adulthood. Uh huh. Did, yeah, I was about 16. Did you go to juvie anything? No, um, I just got convicted and they told me to go back to the residential home. Okay, okay. So, you, you being transgender now, like, when when did you first figure out that you, you were different from everybody or what people wanted you to be? I was four years old. Wait, you knew when you was four? How did he react and, and, you know, what people started treating you different? Like, what happened? Um, he told me, you want to be a girl, I'm going to teach you what it means to be a girl. And I started getting beat and abused and raped and, uh, yeah, physically, emotionally, all that. And, and this was your foster care babysitter? That was my babysitter for my actual family. Oh, wow. Did you did you tell anybody and how long did it go on? Um I I told my mother, my mother pretty much told me I was a liar. Um and it went on I I, I don't I really don't remember. Uh-huh. Uh but I do remember that that's part of the reason why we were taken from from my family. So it so it is safe to say you say that you knew it for so it's safe to say that you can be born this way right or I don't know I, yes okay I know a lot of people gonna have something to say about that because uh, people seem to t like they want to tell people in the LBGT community why they like that like how can you tell somebody else that well I look at people when they ask me how can I choose to do that I tell them when did you sit down and think to yourself, do I like women or do I like men? And then I tell them, which one of us, out of anybody in the world, why would we choose to be persecuted, to be hated, <laughs> to be belittled, and to be everything under the sun? Exactly. That's that's a real good point. I never heard that. That's, that's a real good point. Okay. So fast forward... Your your first bit of adult trouble, did you go to prison or was you was you in and out of the system or what? Um, I the first time I ever really went to prison I was eighteen. You oh uh, uh huh. No, go ahead. How how long did you do when you was eighteen? I did six six years. I was twenty four when I got out. So when when you went to prison, were you out as a, a transgender yet or what? How was that? Was it a lot of pressure? Because you know how those guys get in there. I've seen some crazy stuff myself. 
But how was that going in there? Like, was you scared? I was very nervous. Um, you talking about coming into prison? Yeah, coming into prison. Was you scared? Was people telling you stuff like, oh, man, they're going to get you up? Or, girl, they're going to get you, so on and so forth? I heard so many stories about prison that I wouldn't make it, that I could make it, that it's worth a lot of fighting, so if you don't know how to fight, there's no point, you might as well lock up. And I heard a whole bunch of stories that made me, I wouldn't say that I was scared, I would say that I was very, very nervous about going to prison. Mm -hmm. uh, my whole perspective of prison was, I'm going to be around all these men who have done hard time, and I'm going to be the one that they squeeze, I'm going to be the one that they abuse, I'm going to be the one that they target. When you got there, did anybody take you in and, and, and show you the ways that was, like, genuine? So when I first got, got in, it, I had one person take me under their wing, and it was an ulterior motive. Uh, he was showing me how to do things around the prison, how to um, walk and talk and be a, be a convict. Mm -hmm. uh, but he wanted more than just a mutual relationship. Did, did he belong to any particular organization? I do not remember. Okay. So, okay, so he's showing you how I go, how I go. Then he eventually came on to you, or did y'all break ways? How did that go? Um, i not one to really push people away anymore, so I kind of just naively went along with it whatnot, but I didn't, I, I, I didn't do anything with him, I stayed friends with him while letting him know that he's not quite what I'm into, and no, no, but I wouldn't really push away. Okay. So, the, when you got there, in, in the beginning of your bit, did anybody take any, anything from you, Rob, you try to extort you or whatnot, or did it go smoother than what you thought? How are you treated by the staff? Huh? How are you treated by the staff? It's it's an individual thing. Like a lot of the staff here, they're not trans friendly, so it's 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 really really hard to get them to do anything for us. It's hard to get things that we need to protect us, and when when we do get it almost like it's so easy for anybody to be put down as transgender that it puts us at a risk. So they don't take us very seriously. Right. And we're mocked by some, we're teased by some. Others are fully accepted. Mm-hmm. Are, are you uh, isolated from uh, general population? Or on your first bit, was you, or your second bit? Are you isolated from, like, general? No, I was GP. Oh, wow. I didn't know they could do that. Yeah. Well, they can't isolate you because it's against the law now to segregate based on sexual orientation, race, etc., etc., etc. Would you prefer that they segregated y'all? Um, there's times that I think that that would be a benefit, but there's other times when I'm, I'm glad that I don't, or that they don't do that. Mm-hmm. Just because I do have friends that aren't of the same community that really have my best heart and interest at heart and really do care about me. So they're people that I enjoy hanging out with. And I think if they segregated us, 
I would be able to enjoy time with people like that. Oh, okay, okay. Have have you ever seen like the LBGTQ community come together and like organize like you know maybe the Bloods, GD, so on and so forth? No, I I have not seen that. Okay. So, what what, what do you do to pass your time? Um, I do a lot of watching TV, listening to my music. Um, I type on my tablet. Um, I love gaming, so I'll sit at a table and play like a paper game called uh, Pathfinder, or I'm outside. Mm -hmm. Do you exercise at all? Not very heavily, because I'm pretty asthmatic, so I do what I can without overexerting my body. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you said you did six years your first bit. Now, your second bit, how, how long have you been down and how long you got to go? Uh, I've done four years and I come home May 17th. What's your plans when released? Do you even have a parole yet or what? Yeah, I got my parole May 17th. Um, my plans, I, I don't have a whole lot. I'm going to community placement. Uh, so that means I gotta work on finding housing and I gotta find a job. Um, it's it's my goal to continue college, so I gotta look into that. Uh, I, I really don't have a huge uh, game plan because I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do while I'm out there. Exactly. At least you're realistic. People come home with like a lot of big plans, and they don't understand. Like you got to get the finance, the currency, and the stability first. And you know you're gonna bump your head a lot, but it's it's good that you got realistic goals. Do you got any family in your corner at all? Um, I just got my stepmom back, but I don't really have family now. Mhm. Mm did did your family kind of like? Is it because you transgender or? It's just maybe life decisions. Um, my stepdad's pretty mad. He just he, he could never see me as his daughter. He's always seen me as his son. Um, you have one minute remaining. My uncles are pretty against it, and my 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 mother after what she did, I just I cut off all ties with her. Low key, I would too. Did did that make you bitter inside? She did that. Uh no, I over the years it did, but I ended up forgiving her for it. Mhm. Mm that's good.